So this is one of the most interesting research papers that I've seen come out in a long time. I debated for a while on like back and forth, am I going to make a video on this? And then I decided pretty hard, yes, like this 100% deserves a video. So this paper is called Fully Autonomous AI Agents Should Not Be Developed. It's put up by Hugging Face. And if you have paid attention to my channel and kind of uh, some of my writings recently, I've been kind of sounding an alarm around a similar topic. Mine has been very specifically that um, embodied agents are bad um, and that like embodiment is a, a problem that we should be looking more into and that has been largely and vastly ignored. And this is this paper is along those same lines. It's just talking about fully autonomous AI agents. And then so um, first of all, like what are fully autonomous AI agents? Defined by this, they give you a very clear and uh, specific um, chart and graph as to like uh, how we get to fully autonomous AI agents and what the difference is, right? So they bring it down to an agentic level. And then up until fully autonomous AI agents, it's always uh, the human in control at some point. And then so this would include multi-step agents, tool calling agents, router agents or simple processing agents. Uh, and then all of these are uh, like a step below fully autonomous agents. And uh, why this is important and significant overall is uh, people within this debate, they very much focus on the intelligence of this debate, right? And, and that hyper focus on like AI intelligence has been hyper bad or this overall debate, because it uh, ignores the actual most functional and most real world and most uh, risks that we're going to most likely face the soonest and uh, only focuses the debate on what will be the risks and the potential future risks of if and when and if an AI entity be, like, is manages to um, well, intelligent human intelligence, right? We, we aren't at that level yet, but we are today at a level where a lot of people can design and, and implement fully autonomous agents, right? Like, and and um, within that, it's a framework that we don't talk about. And then it's important because uh, intelligence is not directly tied whatsoever to autonomy in this instance, right? You can have autonomous agents that are, are very limited in their thought processes and they could go out and, and, and wreak havoc, absolute havoc, which is what this paper um, kind of goes into, right? So the, the biggest um, section of this particular paper is this section five and it's values embedded in agent systems and they break it down into different risk areas and different risk factors um, and different um, like consequences that could develop as a result of these risks. And so giving you kind of uh, an example, and they give it benefits as well, right? So it's benefit, um, risk, uh, and then kind of application. And then so giving an example of this. So uh, accuracy would be the first one. Uh, benefit when a system is accurate and how it responds to user requests and correctly aligns with developer goals. Increased autonomy provides increased useful functionality. But a risk of that is, is that uh, the models on which recent AI agents are based can be inaccurate. The commonly used LLMs are known to produce incorrect information that appears correct. So we are uh, essentially being a risk to this equation by allowing uh, this information to disseminate uh, on a fully autonomous level, right? Um, and then so application to agent levels. First of all, it, there's an uh, for level one, there's an inherent risk from AI agent based models, and this gets amplified with increased autonomy. And this is the important thing, right? All of these risks get amplified. It's a, a amplifying effect that kind of like goes off the rails at a certain point the more that we look at these things right and and we know this with the intelligence equation because it's been very much mapped out but all of these equations fall under this same bucket this fully autonomous agent problem uh like the physicality of ai etc and there's a lot of risks in, in in this particular one that they're outlining here right value equity uh value flexibility privacy relevance security safety sustainability, trust, truthfulness, 
uh, kind of a lot of big important aspects that are are just blindly ignored when you break this equation down to only the intelligence aspect and and ignore the other aspects of this debate right so that's why it's critically important to talk about these particular discussions and these particular papers i feel like um within these discussions there's like two camps right it's uh, our media overall is very good at uh dividing and making things into two camps right it's either you're either a doomer or a hyper and and like there's no in between within that debate right um and then um uh, my perspective like i'm a realist <laughs> and then so i think that there's no we're not going to stop the train that we're on um but we should be looking at uh, these things and and looking at where the train is going and what we're running into like head on as we're running into it right um and we should be uh talking about those things and there oh, it's acknowledged that um if you make progress there's going to be risks and new risks that develop and are created and associated with that like um ignoring that um, is not realistic and then so i try to take this balanced approach and this balanced perspective with regards towards all of these things and, and and all of these topics like i don't think it's important it's the last thing that we should do is take like a complete doomsayer perspective on any of this <laughs> like the, the uh, this paper isn't like we should halt uh, all ai development whatsoever like we should just complete put a complete halt on it um you, you should, I, I think it's, um, what this paper is saying is like, don't ever think chat GPT in charge of your whole entire computer. Like, I think that would be a pretty bad, um, precedent to set, set, right. And, and like, that's kind of where this, um, discussion in, in this paper is, uh, kind of drawing that line. And we should be having those debates because, uh, I see a lot of people like right now, they don't, they're okay with putting chat GPT, um, in charge of their whole entire computer, right? Like there would be a lot of people right now in the set quote that would be um, argumentative against this um and it's important to have these discussions um within this like these to me the, this is uh, all about ethical and safety risks right like um the ethical and the safety risks of uh, like ai in this particular instance are coming from these ancillary and these scaled up risks the more that we scale up these ancillary areas that we're paying less attention to than intelligence right i like the major risk isn't going to come from intelligence like um when when an ai is more intelligent and, and and that situation is worrisome in and of itself to have become problematic all of these other problems and all of these other like the autonomous problem, the physical problem, all the other ancillary problems are going to be bigger problems than that problem overall. So it's important to start looking at these things. Uh, I'll leave a link to this paper in the description of this video. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.